Hey there everyone, what's up? Here is the Etika Boy. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to set up an Android emulator for the testing of your flat applications. So you can see over here, I have my flat app running for my IDE for my terminal, and I can test it over here and hot reload and all the stuffs are working correctly. So definitely stay to the end of this video to know how to set this up. All right, so the first thing you have to do is open up your Android Studio. If you don't have it installed, please install it. And when you open up the Android Studio application, you're going to see over here more actions. You click on it and you click on Virtual Device Manager. So over here, you can see I have three devices already installed. I have the, the Pixel devices already installed and this one is currently running. But if you don't have a device connected or installed, you just click on the plus button. Under the phone category, these are all the available devices you have. So please, when installing a device or when choosing, when making your choice, please make sure you look at this Play Store logo over here because you need Play Store installed in your in the phone or in the emulator you're going to choose. So you can choose something like, I don't know, medium phone or anything, but it needs to have Play Store over here. Then you click on Next. And from here, you need to install a system image. So if you want to choose, let's say, for instance, this Tiramisu, you see a system image must be selected to continue. So what you do is you download, you click on the download button. It's going to download all the necessary stuffs, and then you will be able to proceed and click on next. So for this, for instance, I can proceed with this one. You click on next and you can see you can rename the device, the startup orientation portrait or landscape. You can choose that depending on your needs or you can click on advanced settings. If you want to put a configure your device, click on finish and you see your device will be added to the list of devices. When you click on run, so I have one running already, but let's click on run to see this one. You see that's the pixel, the, the pixel pro we are just from installing or just from adding. It's launching the emulator and that's how it starts. So I already have one open, so I'm going to close this one. This is just to show you how it works. So go on and download an image and uh, launch your virtual device. Okay, now moving to my device. The next step is to move to the Play Store. And I guess you need to give your Google credentials to be able to download and install from the Play Store. So I have my Google account connected. You open and you, you search for flat and you click on it and you install. Having it installed, you just click on open and you'll see your application showing up just as on a normal mobile device. Now moving to the your IDE. So this is a simple application I built. You can find it on my Medium page. So it's the counter application, rebuilding the Flutter counter app in Python with flat. And at the bottom, you can see over here, here is the complete code. So you click on it and it's going to show this. You copy the code and you move to your IDE and paste it right there. So that's it. This is the code over here. What you do next is move to your terminal. The next step is to open your terminal and say flat run the name of your file. So the name of my file is counter, counter.py. And you precise, you give the flag Android because you're on Android. So Android, you run it as such. You see the QR code. This QR code is for an external device so you can scan, but we cannot scan with the emulator. So what you do is move. A little up and you're going to see app is running on this you copy the url move to your application click on the plus button paste it over here so after i have this here so i can click on it you paste it there and you click on add and you see your application is successfully running on your emulator and if we modify something like um let's see the upper this text over here Let's modify it so and you can see the changes are directly reflected in your application. So that's really it, guys. That's what I wanted to show you in this video. I really hope you enjoyed it and you were able to replicate the steps I showed in this video.
If you face any issue, please mention in the comments or on the Flat Discord and I will be happy to help you. Please like this video if you found it helpful and useful and don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. See you in the next video.